guys, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you all of the things that I was absolutely loving during the springtime. I've got so many goodies here that I was completely obsessed with. So if you are keen to see some of the things that have stolen my heart this spring, grab yourself a cuppa and let's get into the video. Right, thing number one, it is the biggest and also the most expensive and it's also for most people probably the least exciting but for me, being that I'm a clean freak, it is super exciting. It is my Dyson stick vacuum cleaner. I got this for about $300 on the Target website and I guarantee you I have gotten my 300 bucks worth already. I use this baby not every day, but maybe every second day. Dave will tell you it's every day. I do not vacuum the house every day, but I do vacuum a hell of a lot. It brings me joy and this vacuum cleaner just makes life so much easier. I just like chuck it under the bed and then when I'm ready to vacuum, zoom, 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 just breeze around the house. It's so easy, easy to clean it out. If you do not own a stick vacuum cleaner, I strongly recommend that you get one. Um, do you need a Dyson? Not necessarily. Are they, in my experience, the best vacuum cleaners out there? Yes. So get on the vacuum train if you want to level up your cleaning game. All right, I've got a whole heap of kind of different categories of stuff here. Some clothing, some beauty, some homeware type thing. So I'll sort of just like try and keep it like like, but starting off with some clothing items, I got these incredibly cute cherry, white cherry socks, sort of like a little bit higher. Um, and I got them from Cotton On. Uh, I don't necessarily remember how much they were, maybe a couple of bucks. I'm absolutely just living for Cotton On at the moment. I love that it's Aussie. I love that it gets here quick. And they've been really like leveling up their game in terms of quality of clothes and the price is always affordable. So while I was also on their website, I also got a few pairs of swimmers. So I got these high-waisted green ribbed bottoms and then I also also got a top to go with it so it is sort of like a U scooped top with just a nice straight back and then in the exact same sort of style but a different design I also got this sort of leopard print one as well they just fit absolutely amazingly they've got sort of pads in there as well um, so they just make you feel really comfortable. Um, yeah, I can't believe that I didn't get into cotton on swimmers earlier. Where have I been? Moving on to kind of like a miscellaneous section. My year 12s very kindly bought me all of these fine tip sharpies. Um, and then just like some nice rainbow colors. They know that I am into the organization, the bullet journaling, the stationery, and I've already got some pretty good use out of these when it comes to sprucing up my diary. Also kind of in like that miscellaneous realm, I recently picked up this book called Violet Bent Backwards Over the Grass. I got it from Kmart. It is by Lana Del Rey and it is a series of like really cool kind of moody poems and very aesthetic pictures as well. Photographs but is what I mean by pictures. Um, definitely recommend that if you love poetry. It wasn't very expensive. Actually, I've got a few things here from Kmart and they are also bringing the goods these days. So I will launch into my kind of beauty section and this one's also from Kmart. I picked up this pink sort of like terry cloth, very soft um, headband which I use when I do face masks. And I normally do like two face masks a week. So I've already started to get 
a lot of use out of this and this was only like I don't know a couple of bucks so worthy investment um, I don't think I got these from Kmart I'm pretty sure I just picked these up from Woolworths but these two clips um, I use this one for when I go in the shower so when I wash my hair and I've got my conditioner in I just put it up so that it can sort of like let the conditioner soak in while I wash myself and then this one stays out of the shower and pretty well every night when I go to bed I just wrap my hair up on top of my head and clip it in um, I heard this really crazy rumor that the ladies from Real Housewives of I'm not sure where there is a lot of them but they swear by that as a hack to prevent hair breakage and allow your hair to grow longer so I'm willing to try it what I can say is that when I had my hair clipped up like that I always wake up in the morning with like softer hair like less messy and it's always like pretty well stayed in the clip which never happens if I put it up in using like a hair tie so go figure my next thing is this headache pain relief it's a roller ball and it is peppermint scented um, and it's with yeah peppermint oil and it's just peppermint and that's pretty well it uh, and you just roll it onto your forehead, your temples, and your back of neck as required. I pretty well just keep this in my handbag. I get lots of headaches at work. And I have found that, you know, if one springs up, and I often don't take any, like, Nurofen with me, I'll just roll this and it will, you know, really sort of help. And I'll drink a crap ton of water and that will really help as well. All right. Makeup items, I got two lipsticks, both from Raw Cosmetics. This one is Angelic Almond, which is a very nice neutral sort of brownish tone. It doesn't look brown on your skin though. And then this one is Pomegranate Parade. It is a new one and it's a lovely pink. I just love their formula and I love Raw as a brand. They're Australian made and owned. Uh, sustainable products, no nasty sort of ingredients and I love how soft the lipstick feels on my skin. I was like previously into the matte liquid lipsticks. I am now like well and truly off that train. I just find that they like feel really drying and like your lips feel all like crackly and yuck and it's just not a look. So I've transitioned over to just the regular lipsticks and I'm loving it. Speaking of the lips, I have also recently bought this Lip Remedy Balm and gee, I actually don't even know what the brand is, but I got it from this website called Banish, which is an Australian site and it has a whole heap of natural, sustainable Australian beauty. So this is entirely cardboard and when you want some more up the top there, you just like literally push this tube up and that will deliver some. So I'm really getting into finding more ways that I can be sustainable with the stuff that I buy, trying to buy more Aussie made and owned things. Um, it's a work in progress, so one step at a time. Don't judge me if I'm not like fully heavy living in the woods at this point in time, okay. Moving on, next up I've got these sunglasses. They are Vogue Times Sarah's Day. I've actually had them for a long time, but I've never mentioned them in a video yet. So they are a nice matte black with this little front detail just regular sides and this is the look. I like them. I pretty much just take them with me and wear them everywhere. So they had to have an honorable mention in this spring favorites video. Okay, I'm gonna sort of start transitioning into homewares. But before I do, I've got some DVDs that I wanted to mention because 
Uh, we have been on a little bit of an NCIS binge. I recently got a new TV unit and the storage in there is like less than half of my previous TV unit. So I kind of had been ruthless with my DVD collection and I had a whole heap of series that pretty well were just sitting in there forever. So what I'm doing is we're currently re-watching all of the NCIS videos that I've got and then I've teed up with my sister that she is going to take them. And then we're gonna move on to Bones and Criminal Minds and then I've teed up with my other sister that she is going to take them. So I'm sharing the love on and being able to relive some of my favorite TV shows. Okay, so my first home item is, and I should have um, actually like taken the slips off the pillow, but whatever. But I got these 100% mulberry silk pillowcases. And you know what? I also don't remember what the brand of these are, but I know that I literally just typed in Australian silk pillowcases and it was one of the, the top sites that came up. These were actually like, really expensive. Mine were like the cheapest out of all the options and I think for two white silk pillowcases it was something like $50 but they went pretty steadily up in price from there so clearly it is not a cheap commodity but I've got to say they are the most comfortable delightful thing to sleep on and it's really been helping me to get a good night's sleep and to wake up feeling and looking refreshed the next day. So some more homewares. I've also recently picked up from Kmart some wooden coasters. I've just got two here but I actually did get a set of four, two on the dining table, two on the coffee table. Um, and yeah, it just sort of goes with my natural, beachy, sort of neutral aesthetic. And I think for a pack of four, it was like maybe 10 bucks. So really reasonable price. Also from Kmart, I got this wash and rinse sort of little duo for the bathroom. So I just like had um, a hand wash pump in there and I just sort of poured it into this one and then this I don't actually use it to rinse I use it to hold my toothbrush and toothpaste and they look very aesthetic on the very very small um, vanity that we've got in there but definitely spruced up that room one last one from Kmart and we're almost at the end of my favorites here I got this marble look tray that I put on my bedside table and I put um, sort of different little bits and pieces on it and I think it just elevates the aesthetic the visual quality of my bedside table up to the next level um, very sleek very I don't know classy looking if you will also incredibly heavy but nevertheless a steal when it comes to the the Kmart finds they are bringing in the goods these days. All right, second last thing. I did mention this in a previous video, but I got four of these meal prep glasses from Target. And I think they're about three or four bucks each and I am giving them a hardcore workout. I pretty much make myself at least one, sometimes two, either a smoothie or a juice a day to take to work. And it's really just helped me to be more organized and make sure that I'm getting in some good food when it comes to work. So they have been getting good use. And my final spring favorite, and it's not very exciting. It is just a box, a storage box pink very cute i got two of these um i have recently watched the home edit on netflix which is another favorite if you haven't watched it make sure you put it on your little list to do later on 
I just absolutely love and froth off anything cleaning and organization and they brought both and so as soon as I saw that I had to start like getting aesthetic storage solutions for around my house so I bought two of these boxes to go on top of my wardrobe I had like a whole heap of kind of random stuff around the place and it sort of forced me to go through my things and really start culling down so this one is the kind of gifts and wrapping sort of box and then my second one is my sentimental box but I, I do think that there are more boxes in my future I hope you guys enjoyed watching my spring favorites, all the things that have brought me joy this year. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday and my Christmas videos, that's the next video. So make sure you stick around. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.